Hello and welcome to the bestseller experiment where we discover what makes a best-selling novel whilst trying to write, publish and market one in just a year. A year? Oh God, a year? Hey look, I'm, uh, Mark, I'm trying to do the intro. Okay, good luck mate. We can, we can, deal, with, we can deal with your issues later. Got, <laughs> I have so many issues with this. You don't, uh, I, let me introduce myself. I am Mark Stay. Uh, I'm a writer. I wrote a script uh, for a film called Robot Overlords. I did the novelisation but I've also worked in book selling and publishing for well over 20 years now and i can tell you this is a car crash in the making but mark don't okay. be so Dazzle us. don't be Tell so us. don't be so pessimistic this is crazy. My my name is Mark DeVoe, and as you can probably tell, I'm the optimist out of the two of us. Mm. I am a dream coach, and I've actually come from the music industry where I've played Glastonbury, had best-selling albums, but I've never actually managed to finish a book that I started writing. So Together with my cohort, Mr. Stay, I'm going to be asking lots of really daft questions about what it takes to be a bestseller. But I honestly think this could really happen. Yes, but you also, you also, you also use the words dream coach with a straight <laughs> face, Mark. So this is where we diverge in the road. But oh, this, this, is, this is going to be a nightmare. But I tell you what, I, t- I tell you, let me tell you, we won't do it. It's going to be a disaster because I have to teach you how to write a book. I've only written one myself. <laughs> but out there in listener land in podcast land the people listening to this if you're a writer you're an aspiring writer and you've got maybe a half written book in your bottom drawer somewhere or you've always wanted to or you've done NaNoWriMo or something and you want to write a book this is the podcast for you because you won't just be hearing from us losers you'll be hearing from some real proper million selling authors and million selling publishers so listen Mark we've sneakily recorded a few episodes already so shall we have a quick listen and get a little taste there is this feeling that I can't write unless my creative juices are flowing. I can't write unless my muse is speaking to me. And the reality is, I'm gonna say a bad word here, your muse is your bitch, not the other way around. And you have to train it to show up. Wow, uh, your muse is your bitch. I'm getting that put on a t-shirt straight away. Be as confident as you can and, and uh, persist, and hopefully things will pay off. It's always a strange stroke of luck, I think, that brings any writer. Uh, a deal but you know the longer you dance around naked in the rain the sooner you'll be struck by lightning right <laughs> if an aspiring writer came to you and, and you only had time to give them one single tip what would that be ditch the word aspiring Sorry. it's bullshit just write don't worry too much about being a writer only uh, got up at four that was just really ridiculous right. um but i get up at five so i can get a good two hours of procrastination in before i have to start work <laughs> What I, what I was amazed at is you'd written and published, is that right, 12, around 12 novels and a couple of novellas in, in a 12-month period. Yeah, I think it was, I, I don't want to overestimate it, I think it was 10. I think it was 10, <laughs> Only 10. 10 books. Um, 10 books and a, a couple of novellas, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> just as Sam says cynically thinking I'm going for a bestseller thing mm. it's really rare that you'll actually make it because people will see right through it you know in the first place the agent will the editor will so don't chase the zeitgeist don't try and copy other people and don't cynically go for a bestseller well that's us group <laughs> uh, we, we hope you've enjoyed uh, the bestseller experiment podcast uh, it lasted uh, one and a half episodes precisely so you heard there people like Joanne Harris, author of Chocolat, Shannon Mayer, top-selling indie author, Jared Crombie, a top-selling fancy author, and people from the industry who have sold millions upon millions of books. This is going to give you all the insider knowledge you need. This is going to inspire you to write that book. And maybe even you and me, Mark, we might <laughs> be able to pull our finger out and get it done. So if this has intrigued you, get over to our website now. It's bestsellerexperiment.com where you can join the bestseller list. That's our special newsletter letter you'll find out when this podcast is going live we're going to throw in loads of incredible useful freebies and advice and tips for you as well so join us on this massive car crash to the top of the bestseller charts and it's going to happen mark isn't it it's going to happen if you say so mate if you say so we're also on facebook as well we're also on facebook bestseller experiment and on twitter we are at bestseller xp so join the conversation join our first episode uh sign up to the mailing list the best-selling list and uh come with us on this journey It, it might not end in triumph but it will be fun. Absolutely. So it's goodbye from Mark 1. And goodbye from Mark 2. Goodbye. Goodbye.